What's up guys, uh, Zach Scott here. Uh, I'm here with my friend Abdallah Smash. We're playing Mario Tennis Aces together. How are you doing, Abdallah? I'm doing very well. Thank you so much for having me and hello everyone. How are you guys? They are good. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> and, uh, I'll respond for them. I, I hope they're doing good and uh, they should be because uh, you're here as a guest and uh, we just did a live stream on your channel and uh, that should now be a VOD that they can go watch. There's a link in the description. Uh, be sure to go subscribe to Abdallah Smash. Uh, you know, smash the like button on that video uh, because it was a very good video. I won't, I won't spoil what happened, but uh, Abdallah uh, educated me a lot. <laughs> Schooled me in a way um, in, on how to play Mario Tennis Aces. And I think I adapted pretty well. And so today we might have a bit more advanced gameplay than you're used to seeing from me. Uh, if you've only watched my channel's videos, but go check out uh, his video that was a live stream uh, You'll see it. It's awesome. I'm on webcam. I keep forgetting to look at the camera. So hello guys <laughs> so, <laughs> It was a good so, time. Um, go check it out. Yeah. Yeah, so um, how, So just just be honest. Uh, how do you think I did? Uh, overall have I been learning some have I been adapting because I'm trying to learn from the best of dollar smash is I don't know a lot of Mario <laughs> tennis aces players So he's now officially the best Mario tennis aces player that I know <laughs> So oh, how do you man, think I that's did? Great. I'm I'm not the best Mario tennis aces <laughs> player, but no you did really good man You did really good uh, and like if you take the tips that I taught you about countering shots learning the different um the different kinds of serves and then just not being so predictable i think you're gonna get really really good but you got the basics down really well so i'm excited let's play some more rounds okay and uh, let's just have a good time rounds today. okay okay and so for those of you guys who don't know uh abdallah smash he plays a ton of awesome nintendo games on his channel and um you know if you've watched my mario tennis aces series you might know that i'm not quite so skilled at it uh, but Abdallah Smash, I mean, if you want some more details on how to play the game and how to be a better player, go check out his channel uh, because he has just a lot of great videos with uh, Mario Tennis Aces and uh, he knows all the strategies. He, he knows uh, <laughs> all, all the stuff that I don't know. <laughs> so <laughs> go sure, check sure. that out. I think you're going to really enjoy it. So we're going to oh, start thanks. up here. Thanks for your kind words, man. And then not to mention, we've got a giveaway that we're doing, right? <laughs> yes, that's true. For the, are you talking about the contest? Yeah, the little contest that we're doing. Yes, yeah. I, yes, I did not forget, but I forgot to mention it. So, so yes, in the description, uh, there there are details um, on how to enter our contest. Uh, when you can win a copy of this game, you can win uh, eShop gift card, and uh, go check it out. You're gonna want to watch our videos and subscribe. Uh, do you do you mind if I just start off as Mario? You can do whoever you want. Yeah, dude. Uh, we're ready. We're ready. Go Daisy. <laughs> Let's -a go. Mario and Daisy. There we go. There we go. So uh, we're starting fresh. So I don't have any wins or losses. And uh, we're going to see what we do here. We're doing normal style stadium courts. Um, so yeah, this is a surface. So I, I see now what you're talking about. It says surface, hard court. So the bounces, you know. Yeah. So bouncing. with this specific court, <clears throat> it says that the bounce is strong, right? So if you're a shorter character, like Toadette, Toad, Spike... Mm -hmm. uh, you may have a slight chance of not hitting the ball because it could bounce right over you. So okay. just keep that in mind. But yeah, anyway, good luck okay, to you. Have fun. Let's go. All right, let's do some Daisy time. Daisy time. Well, Mario time for me. Oh my. And Mario's got a little bit of strength there behind his shots. Yeah, so I like also being noticed Mario's... that uh, <laughs> that we're both all-round characters, right? Um, maybe. <laughs> I have no yeah. idea about Daisy. <laughs> You're asking the wrong guy. Yeah, Daisy is definitely all round, just like uh, with Mario. But what's interesting about this game is that like they don't really publish like the minor differences between like all three of the all round characters. You know oh, I mean? Okay, yeah. So you kind of because there's no way know. that Mario is gonna have the. Oh gosh. <laughs> I, I totally. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got it. So, so <laughs> I was gonna say, there's no way that Mario, Daisy, and Luigi have the exact same stats. That would be silly, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. So they all have some sort of, um, you know, little intricacies about them that are slightly different. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to. It. Whoa, hey now! I again, that, that was a mistake. From? I just want to, I just want to clarify because uh, the main thing. Uh, sorry, I have a hard time talking and playing at the same time, but. <laughs> 
<laughs> I didn't do the trick. So yeah, uh, Abdallah t taught me that if you hold down the uh, s the speed button when you're approaching a star, you actually end up doing a uh, one of the dra uh, uh, what is it called? Zone zone shot. <laughs> zone shot. Yes. And uh, I I totally keep forgetting that because uh, I never really experienced that in single player mode. So yeah. It's actually a really good strategy to do because, like, if you know that your opponent's, like, not countering your ball correctly, you can just slow it down and go get that. And that's a great way of punishing uh, drop shots, too. Like, if you see someone doing a lot of drop shots, you can just hold that zone speed and then get to that star and then just zone shot them and, uh, you know, make them go a little bit further back. Oh, no. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Almost, man. Oh man. All right, let's Tough let's stuff. see some other uh, other serves that you got. Anything other than like flat shots? Change give me card. give me non-purple <laughs> serves, right? Mix it up. <laughs> That's the easiest button for me to hit. <laughs> okay, so another thing, uh, if you check out his live stream, he taught me this too, which I've never done in my videos before. You can actually start a serve by holding down the R, and you can do one of. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what happened, <laughs> but you can do. Uh, you can basically start off like this. I don't know how I got a fault. Double fault. Oh, because you oh, gotta make sure you hit it within um, the opposite, opposite oh, square. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so you got a double okay. fault there, but yeah, you can get it again. Yeah, yeah. So, so basically, you do, and you want to make sure you. Yeah, you're on the other side. There you go. And so that is um, a different type of serve that I've never done before, and Abdallah taught me that in his live stream. So if you want to see that, again, go. Oh yeah, you want non-purple stuff some, for some reason. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Like, see, that's the thing, too. Like, you gotta you gotta mix it up, because if you're just gonna be, you know, doing purple shots the whole time, then, remember, purple shots counter each other, so it's just gonna be a really easy match. So you gotta make sure that you force your opponent to make, um, like, to make them miss their countered shots. So if okay. you mix it up with some blues and some reds and purples, you're gonna keep them on their toes, and uh, if they can't counter every single thing that you're doing, then you're gonna get more star opportunities to score against them. Okay, okay. I still haven't quite figured out the, the, the perfect way to do some of these shots. Well, I mean, you're, you're doing pretty well so far. I mean, you're countering purples with purples, and you're kind of mixing things up. As long as you're just double tapping every single button every single time, you're set. Except the X button. <laughs> Except for the X button, man. Just stay away from that thing, dude. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, good. Oh, no! Oh here no! Comes, here comes. <laughs> to risk practice, the racket I'm gonna try to block not. this. Ooh, oh wow! Good block! Nice, dude. That was uh, man, I, I oh jeez, I can't get that. <laughs> that was risky. So, I, is it harder to block those than it is the zone shots? Uh, no, it's the same thing. It's the same thing, but it's okay. a lot more risky because if you miss it, oh, and like okay. let's say for example your character is a huge character like Chain Chomp, he's kind of hard to see through. Right? Right. He makes a better door than a window, so like, getting that really frame perfect, you have to be right on it, is going to be a little bit tougher. But with Mario, it's, it's relatively easy. Nice. Oh. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Good match, though. Yeah, yeah, you got me there, man, a couple of times. That was awesome. Oh, boy. Yeah, these are, these are, uh, I, I mean, like, uh, I'm having fun. But I haven't quite. I don't think I'm quite competitive enough to win a lot of these. So <laughs> I'm still trying to learn a lot of tips. But with thankfully, with due time, man, with due time, you're gonna get it, man. You're gonna be the best of them. <laughs> I, you're I, gonna be like the best of them. I we do, change the characters. Let's do it. Oh yeah, man. let's change characters. Yeah, I do plan on doing some tournament videos. I don't know if I'll ever win a tournament, but I mean, if I uh, try enough times, eventually I'll get lucky enough, surely, to win one. Um, oh so, man. Uh, I want to be someone like so. If you check out his uh, Abdallah's live stream, you'll see that I was uh, I play as Donkey Kong a little bit. I play as Boo a little bit, and uh, I want to try to be someone that I haven't really been. Uh, and I was thinking about being. Um, I don't know if I was Spike in the demo. I think I was Spike, but people wanted me to kind of. Oh, I backed out. Sorry. I'm gonna be Spike. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Here we go. I want to try out Spike because a lot of people recommended that I play as Spike. He's powerful. Boo is tricky though. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to handle Boo's shots because if, if you, <laughs> man, <laughs> I'm gonna try. But Boo is very tricky, very very tricky. And so this is a normal bounce. So okay, nothing to really worry about here, I guess. 
Yeah, absolutely. Now, what, what's different about Spike, he's a power character, but he's got, like, the same speed as, like, Yoshi or Toad. Okay. So, and of course, he's short too, so he's gonna have a lot of access to uh, hitting the apex of the tennis ball a lot easier than other characters. Okay. So he, he's actually pretty decent. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to contend with uh, some of these shots here. But like, if you're if you're gonna be trying to counter Boo and like all of his crazy curves, you need yeah. a power character. That's so you got like the perfect counter. To oh, okay. Okay. You can overpower Boo and then just completely destroy him. Okay. Uh, so yeah, he's actually really tough to. <laughs> that is exactly what I'll do. <laughs> That's right. So just get Whoa. into place like that. Like I, I I got nothing on that. You see how fast you were hitting those shots? That's oh insane. yeah. Okay. Okay. I think one of the reasons I use the uh, the purple shots a lot is because it just that's what I ended up doing on a lot of my my rallies in, uh, yeah. when I was against Kamek and stuff in single player, is so that's kind of uh, that's kind of why. Oh man, that, see that was so tricky. It was like I was trying to go over to it, but then by the time I got to it, it was already around me, it, like curved around my body. So oh, absolutely. All right, you ready for a down the line slice? Uh, yep. Here we <laughs> you, go. At least you're warning me. Oh, yeah, that <laughs> there was, we go. That's pretty oh, decent. Man. So yeah, one of the un pretty much like underused techniques that a lot of power players kind of neglect is just using that top spin shot, which is the A button to put the red one, uh, the red shots on there, and they just go so fast. Ow! Like I, yeah, you can see like I hit it between the skinny lines on the side, oh. and those are only uh, those are only in when you're playing doubles. Oh, okay. So okay. I just couldn't, I couldn't handle the power of your topspin shot, so I kind of whiffed it out of bounds, which is not fun. Oh, okay. And then, so, okay. Alright, so, now remember, I was showing you in our previous live stream that if you're boo and you go to the ends, and then you do a, uh, oh, like a yes. less than B, kind of a serve. It's the worst. It goes crazy <laughs> like that. <laughs> it's the... Oh, yeah, so boy. that's what I was kind of uh, alluding to uh, when we were playing, when you were playing as Boo. He's just really good with his, on service. And like right now, I'm just having a hard time putting it past you because you've got the, the power on your returns on it. I have some pretty good reach too, it seems. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to eat that one. Whoa, whoa, what was that? Was that, was that a, a slice? It, yeah, it was a blue. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't know what he was going to do. I just like... I didn't know it was in a curve or what, but like, break okay, break point. We both have our specials. Yikes. Yeah, we do have some specials. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. Ooh. Okay. There. <laughs> I was not ready for that. I keep. By the way, guys, I keep forgetting I have a webcam on. So hi. Uh, I keep forgetting <laughs> to look at the camera. Hey. So, I don't usually do That's webcam, right. but I mean, like, it'd be weird if it was just a doll on the screen. <laughs> right. That that would be a little weird. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh boy. Alrighty, here we go. Curving right at you with the drops. Curving away from you. Let's see that special, uh, man. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, I forgot to do this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I do have this special. When you need it. Use it when you need it most. Ooh! You was, oh, beautiful save. I, <laughs> I saw just, that. I was just mashing the button. I was like, oh, no. Oh, that's a cool sound effect. Oh, way, oh, no way. Oh, man. I tried. I tried. Yes. Oh, jeez. And that's one of the things, too. Uh, I don't know if you noticed there, but you can you can do a trick shot in zone oh, on the speed. special. Yeah, in order to block the special. So that's what I was trying to do. I did a back trick. But, oh, okay. like, as soon as you're done with the back trick animation, you have to press the B button. Oh, so, wow. That, yeah, that's rough, man. Oh, God. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, man, those serves. Yeah, it's like, it's, so, that was like a pseudo down the line. That wasn't, that wasn't too bad. So, what's your, who's your favorite character? Well, that's a good question, Zach. <laughs> that's a good question. If you want to win tournaments, you have to play as Bowser Jr. He's just too broken of a character. Right? Oh, okay. I can do that. He's, he's a defensive <laughs> type. Yeah, he's a defensive so you... type, and uh, with that, he's got the, like, the biggest reach in the entire game. So he can literally park himself in the middle of the map and just like reach, which is okay. crazy. And not only that, but he's just like Boo, where 
if you're gonna be doing a little bit of a like a pre-charge, um, yeah, uh, like let's say for example I'm hitting the ball at you, you know how you can charge up and you can kind of like move a little bit, you can inch a little bit to the left and to the right. Yeah. But with Bowser Jr. and Boo, like his inching ability is just like he's actually moving, so you're never anchored down with him. Do, do you want to try a, a match where we're both Bowser Jr.? Oh, we could. We, that would be insane. We could do that after the next match, and, and I'll just show you, like, because with Spike, if you're paying attention. Oh no! Oh, man, <laughs> what that was the crazy. heck? Did you see how that curve? <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I would have. <laughs> Let's look at the replay of this. This is awesome. Abdallah just totally owned me there. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh man, I can't even get that one. <laughs> All right. But anyway, pay attention to how, like, when you're when you're charging your attack, like, how far you can kind of move. He can't really move. He's kind of anchored down. But once we go into Bowser Jr., you'll notice that he's got free range to move wherever he wants while he's charging. Okay. And Boo's, Boo's kind of the same way, too. So Boo can get to, like, a level 3 charge on all of his attacks and just unleash it when it's time. Uh, so he can kind of move to the left or to the right, get the level threes, and then go from there. Whereas, like, half of the rest of the cast can't do that. So it, it's pretty insane how, how broken Bowser Jr. is, because he can do that. He's got, like, the best reach in the game. And since speed is an arbitrary stat in the game that no one needs because everyone's got trick shots, it's, uh, yeah. it, it's pretty crazy. I'm not great at landing those trick shots, though, so the speed helps me a little bit, I think. Yeah. Well, luckily you're using that uh, that right stick, right? You're not using that X anymore. <laughs> I'm trying, yeah. <laughs> My mind doesn't uh, go. always go to like, hey, let's hit the right stick. Right. Okay. <laughs> I thought I thought you were gonna go the other way. <laughs> yeah, oh, and that's man. the that's the tough thing. Like, you want to try to stay away from using the left and right, uh, the left and right tricks because they can go completely wrong. Like, if you think they're going cross court, they can go down the line. And if they think they're going down the line, they're gonna go cross court. So that's why you you really wanna to try to just stick to using like the back trick, just okay. by flicking the stick downwards. So when you see the ball come like right next to you, don't, don't you wanna just it. try flicking downwards. Oh, downwards, okay, yeah. I should- Yeah, try that out. I'll try hitting a ball at you, and then, oh my gosh. Yeah, dude, I did a forward trick there. That was like that was the way that I kind of learned how to do trick shots. Is okay. when the ball was like literally at me, you just flick it downwards, and uh, if you flick it down, you'll be like you'll hop back a little bit, and then you'll be able to get it. And oh, I won one! I just... <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay, I'll, I'll oh, try to do a trick shot. Uh, okay, so let's see. All right, yeah, I'll I'll, I'll shoot you one exactly like that, right? So it's all about your timing of when you hit it. The closer the ball is to your character, oh, uh, gosh. With the back tricks. <laughs> oh man, that gets me every time. Oh, yeah, okay. that, that's why, man. I'm telling you, like the tricky characters and their side tricks are really insane. No, Whoosh. no, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I think if you just don't exclusively use those, you're gonna win pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It, he's rough, man. Especially if you don't know like where the curves are going. So like, whenever I'm playing against Boo, and if I see him using a side trick, I just gotta brace myself and like maybe use a little bit of zone speed to kind of see where it's going. Like you could pop into zone speed by pressing the R button and then kind of take a peek as to where they're gonna hit the shot. Ah, so that you that can one. you can kind of yeah. see exactly where it's going. So that's a little a little rough there. But you got that special, man. Well, yeah. So, let's uh, so I mean, this and give me give me one of the hard sh the hard serves too. You got you got a full special meter. You might as well. Okay. Uh, Try so to this is uh, break my racket a little bit. There we go. And see, like I didn't hit that correctly, so you're like two more points away from breaking my racket. Oh my god! What are you doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing out. You tell me to play. <laughs> that's right, and that's what you got to do, man. Oh, I missed it again. <laughs> All like right. especially if you have like that full meter, just don't don't uh, don't hesitate to just go ham and like zone speed your way towards the um, the little stars and just like put the offensive power on your opponent to force them to slow down time and get it. Hey, there we, there go. we go. Back trick. Oh, see, and that's the thing. Bowser does, or uh, Boo does not have a lot of power, so I wasn't able to return that one. And okay. That's why I hit the net. Because he's weak, he's got. Oh. He may got the. Tr he may have the tricks, but 
he definitely does not have the power to back them up. And nor does he have the speed either. Like, I'm trying to approach this net and play the net against you, but, like, your powered shots are pushing me back every single time. Dude. Okay. Good shot. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> I, do you find it easier to be the server or the returner? Well, when you're serving, you've got uh, you got some initiative. So yeah. when you serve, you're banking on your opponent to whiff the ball and return it at you, so that you can capitalize on that initiative. Okay. Uh, so I mean, case in point, like I'm going to serve this at you, and I'm hoping that you don't see one thing. Uh, you don't see the color. Yeah. And then you don't counter it, and then at the same time, I'm hoping that. I will, like, trick you in a way that <laughs> I get the initiative. <laughs> yeah, see, you already tricked me. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. Like, see, yeah, so there, there's a lot of things, too. Like, I want to get an ace on you, so I want to, like, kind of mix up what my serve's going to be. So yeah. I may do, like, a super long to the side red shot. What's an in ace? In order to get an ace like that. And then, like, you may be wise to thinking, oh, he's going to go, like, really, really far to the side and, like, do another one of those. But then, I want to try to mix it up and maybe go a little bit down the line. Uh, okay. And kind of force your opponent to miscounter your heads so that you can uh, potentially win the initiative. It's it's a real crazy mind game this game is. Really, it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just that, like... So, so what, what, what's an ace on, like, a serve? Like, you know, like... You know what I mean? Like. Oh, yeah. So a service ace is where I do a serve and you don't even touch it and I get a point. That's what a service ace is. Oh, okay. Is. Okay. So if it just goes right past you and you don't even get a hit on it, that's a service ace. And then likewise, there's something called a return ace where if you hit my serve so well that you score a point on it, it's a return ace. Okay. And that's something that you don't want to happen. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ooh, nice top spin. Mixing it up. Nice. Alright, is he going cross court or am I going down the line? I don't know. <laughs> it's Most a tough of the time, one. I don't know. <laughs> Whoa! <no>. Oh. <laughs> that was good. That was really good. So. Alright. Okay, so, so would you. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, okay, I got it. Oh. Ooh. So, what were we going to ask? What I do? Oh, what? Uh, normally, I mean. Um, when you when you play like do you normally just keep your special bar full until like you just like like what's your strategy on the special bar like oh like, yeah with the special bar you want to make sure that you have a you at least have you more special than your opponent and that's it and then okay. if you want to play uh if you want to play a little bit more offensively then by all means you know start using the zone speed in order to get to those stars oh gosh uh, uh. in order to do it but yeah, as long as you have more than your opponent, and then, like now, like, I'm at full right now, so I can either say, all right, well, I'm gonna try to break the racket, or I'm gonna try to get the point. Okay, and yeah. so, like, you can just use a, a zone speed serve in order to try to get the point. Oh my gosh. And force your op opponent to, to burn it. <laughs> <laughs> that totally hit me. <laughs> that wasn't right. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> And that, was that like, wasn't lag, right? We've got like the, the best internet ever, right? <laughs> no, no, that wasn't lag. I was just like, I thought I was lined up perfectly, but I guess I was lined up perfectly where it just hit me. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that to totally hit him in the belly right there. Oh my gosh, I, I have to like get to the. Okay, too early. Ooh. So that, that, that hurts my little. racket a little bit when it's too early, right? Yeah, yeah, it takes 33% uh, of your damage. Oh, nice, nice, right through me. And see, like, right now, I expended pretty much all of my meter, so what I need to focus on now is doing some at least level 2 charge shots, uh, without whiffing like that. Uh, level 2 charge shots to at least earn a little bit of meter every time you do that. No! <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Alright, here we go. Game we got this. So, what is I'm this, at, what like, is, like the little percent meter. Do? Uh, okay, so the taunt on your end, if you taunt once and you get like the little shining flame elements or whatever, that means that the uh, the the next attack that you do will be stronger. Oh, okay. So every single time before a serve, you want to make sure that you get that one taunt off so that you don't whiff on the serve and then give the server uh, initiative against you. So that's a good question. You know, I don't I don't think I ever uh, brought that up to you. That's really great. There we go. There. Oh, see that top spin, man. That's what I'm talking about. 
I, I, That's what I'm talking I feel about. Like, I feel like I was just lucky on that one. <laughs> no, that was good. And I'm telling you, like, one of the things, too, about power characters is they don't often use that top spin shot. It's really like they're ace in the hole. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, jeez. Here we go again. All right, here we go. Can we block it? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ooh. I always laugh every how, time I like totally too. mess one of those up. I'm just like, I'm like, yeah. slow it and down the, so I can be precise. I'm like, oh, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> and the hard thing about that is that you you wasted a lot of meter for that. Yeah. Like, yeah. With no, I did. With no benefit. So that's like, if you can do that to an opponent, that's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, like there's when you see some really really crazy like expert players at this game. Yeah. It's really intense. It's really intense. Like how they manage their meter. How they use trick shots to gain a lot more meter, uh, and just how they mix up their actions. It's so crazy. And then everyone plays as Bowser Jr. pretty much. Yeah, so next round we'll both be Bowser Jr. and we'll see yeah, what happens. Yeah, we'll have to show it. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna curve it that way. Oh, man. Ooh. I, I don't even know how I could get over there. I guess slow it down. Yeah. I guess I would have to have slowed it down a lot right there. Oh jeez! Nice. Here we go again. Oh. <laughs> but you see, see what I'm doing there? Like I'm condition you, conditioning you to kind of move all the way to the extreme. Yeah. So that when you return it to me, I can hit it right to the open spot. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, let's see if I can do it okay, again. Here we go. Come uh, on. Oh man. That right. was. That wasn't nice. That was, a, that was a service ace right there. Yes, it was. Oh, we're still playing. Oh yeah, because the best. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. All right, here we go. Got you got it. this. Oh boy. Uh, okay. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Mix up the shots. Nice top spin. Nice drop. Nice. Oh. Uh oh, curve, curve. Whoa! Alright, here. Can you get it? Ooh, hey, nice gloss, dude. Alright, the gloves are coming off against Spike. There we go. Oh jeez. See yeah. so that. <laughs> but you saw how Boo was able to like move towards it and charge at the same time and then yeah. unleash the level three. Yeah. That's what uh, that's what Bowser Jr. is able to do too, which is really crazy. Okay. I'll try. But like to... Spike, yeah, Spike can't do that because he's kind of grounded whenever he starts charging. It's insane. Oh boy. Whoa. Oh man. Overpowering me! <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I ran right into that. Okay. Alright, here we go. Match point. Oh, wait, that's you. Okay, here we go. What? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, a I, really I, strong I, one. There. Whoa, come on. Where's the zone serve? Ooh! Ooh, <laughs> I tried to do a trick shot. Alright, so you won that one. I saw that. Oh, boy. That was a good game, okay. though. Yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, Spike is really strong. Yeah. And you broke one of my rackets too. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. So okay, so there so the for this third one, we should totally do um uh what am I saying? Oh, we should totally do Double Bowser yeah, Jr. Bowser. Yeah, the Bowser Jr. versus Bowser Jr. cuz I want I want to see what that character is like. And I think it oh, would absolutely. Be, since he's OP, it would be I think it would be best if we were both him. Or unless you don't want to be him. But <laughs> No, no, I'm down. So, I'm down to show you. Okay. We're we're going to give this a shot. So defensive character. Who who are the other defensive characters? It's just uh, Bowser Jr. and Waluigi. Okay. So, so Waluigi we'll excels at playing uh, the net because he's really tall and he can play the net. Um, he can reach. He can spike down really well. Uh, whereas Bowser Jr. Okay. is defensive. He's really good at playing baseline because of uh, how quick he is in order to get stuff. Okay. So what I want you to try to notice is when I try to throw a shot at you, uh, I want you to like try to charge it and like see okay. how fast you kind of move around the court uh, with that charged up shot. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I'm still serving. So okay. Are his shots tricky at all or? Yeah, yeah. He even has a little bit of tricky uh, curve to him. You can see that. So I'm gonna throw some down the line to you, but you can see right over there is like you were able to move to it. Oh yeah. And then charge up your attack. Oh, even with and that. And you can see how he pretty much clears the entire court in one jump with his trick shot. It's so insane. Man, I'll have to beat him in tournaments. 
<laughs> yes, that, that's exactly it. Before so, like, they nerf if him. you're gonna if you're gonna go like in a tournament, I remember uh, Nintendo NYC had a tournament uh, for Mario Tennis Aces, and what? the tournament finals was a Bowser Jr. versus a Waluigi. Oh, uh, both figure, defensive. Right? Yeah, both defensive characters. And then the Bowser Jr. player pretty much just like outplayed the Waluigi. But just the fact that it is a Bowser Jr., you know, just kind of says, hey, heads up. Yeah. How are you How are you going to like adjust this character's stats in the future versions of this game, you know? Yeah, I could, I could see that. They should make him stronger. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Make him stronger. Make his arms longer. <laughs> And make him just overall bigger. <laughs> so yes, absolutely. Ha have him uh, like a little 2.0 clown car. <laughs> there Get we a go. clown car upgrade. What the? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man, that was good. Okay. Uh, there we go. I keep forgetting to do this. Yeah, <laughs> another purple. Mixing it up. <laughs> there it goes. Zach's gotten his purple serves. Come on, man. <laughs> no, it. I mean, purple serves are great. It's a flat shot. It's uh, it's nice, but at the same time, like people can counter it very easily just with another purple shot. Oh yeah. So like I said, keeping your opponent. Um, <laughs> I don't like know what toes. I did. <laughs> All right. All right, Bowser Jr. Man, let's okay. go. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Here, Here we, we go. go. Turn so it on, man. Got this. Or, I'm sorry. No, All you're right, serving. Get this right here. Oh wait. Okay. Uh. Ooh, oh. fault. Okay. Interesting. Nice. Oh man. Okay. Nice. Oh. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Whoa. So okay, if we're talking about counters, like if if I do like a purple and then you do a purple, I mean, what's the incentive to like stop doing purples? You know, like if they if oh, purples... that's a that's a great question. Yeah, the incentive to stop doing purples is if you notice that you're at a shot where you can pretty much hit it at the apex, like yours right there. If you land on the star purple, then the incentive to do like maybe a, a slice or a top spin is to just kind of mix up your opponent's movements. Okay. Because, okay. like, yeah, I mean, ultimately, if you're a power character, using purples are very, very appealing because they go fast. Um, but, as you can see over here, you're giving me some stars. Yeah. And with those stars, I'm going to try to mix it up by giving you uh, some different stuff just so that I can force you to counter it wrong. And okay. then you're going to give me that one star that's going to matter, and it's going to allow me to get the point. Okay. Match point. All right, oh, here we go. Match point. Match points. For the win. You got it. Pulling it up. Oh, see, there we go. Mixing it up. Oh, 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 got it. Clear across the court. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I wasn't super great with him, but uh, I guess I could see, like, if I were to maybe, you know, practice a little bit more, be in the middle a little bit more, then maybe I could yeah. I could leverage uh, his uh, his overall defensive capabilities and oh, be really good with him. And that's really the strategy with Bowser Jr. is kind of planting yourself kind of in the middle of the court so that you can kind of pick and choose if you want to rush up to the net, uh, go more towards the back and do a back trick, or just reach to the left or to the right. He's yeah. really a defensively broken character, and uh, if you're going to try your luck playing online with him, watch out because people typically skip you when it comes to matchmaking. Oh, because yeah. No one, yeah. no one wants to play against Bowser Jr. That's pretty much how the online environment is right now. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So, so when I uh, when I was doing the beta, I would just skip anyone who, who was using a character I haven't unlocked yet. <laughs> so, oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Because <laughs> so so I was like, they're probably better than me. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. Well, do you want to do one more? Like, we could do random. We could see what happens. Yeah, we could do random. Random. Yeah, let's do that. I'm down. Okay. Okay, we'll give it a go. And uh, so, yeah, uh, just so you guys know, I mean, like, I'm not super great at this game yet, but I'm learning a lot from Abdallah Smash. Uh, if you guys, of course, want to go subscribe to him, please check out his channel. He posts a ton of awesome video content, and uh, you, I think you're going to really enjoy his channel. It's, it's also very family-friendly, and um, don't forget about the contest also that we're having, uh, which, which uh, a way to enter is subscribing to our channels, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's like the first thing. So if you guys are subscribed, you're already entered. Awesome. 
Very cool. So this is bounce strong. I'm Yoshi and you're Toad. Okay, that's that's pretty pretty. Or am I Toad and you're Yoshi? I, uh, I'm Toad and you're know. Yoshi. There we go. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So we're both speed characters. This one's interesting. A lot of people ask me what the difference between Yoshi and Toad are, uh, and I honestly have a hard time answering it because they're both speed characters. They both go fast. The only okay. thing is that I think that that Toad is short, so therefore he has access to hitting the apex of the ball a little bit easier than Yoshi did. And like I told okay. you earlier. Uh, hitting the ball at its apex is really uh, key to not giving your opponent any stars. Oh, jeez. Oh, See, no. like, right, that <laughs> last one yeah. that I shot at you, like, literally, we were giving each other no stars at the whole first part of the match, but that last one that I hit at you, you pretty much hit it right when it bounced on the ground, so you're playing uh, Mario Golf with it. Okay, And yeah. then, since it wasn't at the apex, you gave me a little bit of a star, and I was able to jump on the star and then pretty much score the point. So Toad is a little bit, yeah, a little bit easier to hit the apex on those, which is pretty great. Yeah. You can see just how fast you're moving cross court with that stuff. Yeah, he's awesome. I may not be super great with Toad, but we'll see. That's right. They gave you a star there. Yeah. Are you double tapping? Uh, so, uh no. Sorry, I forgot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, always make sure whenever you're doing your shots, just double tap. In order to ensure, ooh, that's a missile. I don't know how you got that one, Toad. Dang, I don't Toad's either. Doing some work. Oh boy. Okay, game point. Here we go. All right, game point. I don't Here think I'm super great with. Oh, jeez. But see, so you know the basics, though. You know the basics. You know, you saw the the zone speed serve coming. You slowed it down. Oh man. You got it, man. Okay. I gotta get right, better. Got I gotta get better really quick. <laughs> All right, so, so now hit everything time. besides a purple shot. <laughs> Give me, so uh, and remember, like when when Toad throws it up into the air, you can do a practice one. Um, when Toad throws it up in the air, you want to hit the ball at uh, the apex. Ooh, okay, a shot. I'll do a practice. So, so let me, yeah, let me try that. Do a really practice quick. throw so you can see exactly how he throws it because every single character throws it with different timing. Okay. So if you do a practice throw and you can kind of see the timing of when it's at the very top. And you got a good 91 mile per hour serve right there. Okay. So you combo that with holding left or right. Uh, you combo uh, that with holding left or right and pressing A or B. Yeah. And you've got some pretty cool serves on your hand that can mix up your opponent and give you and, and continue to give you the, the initiative that you need in order to score the points. Okay. So like that was a good serve there. And I countered it wrong because uh, I just, I thought you were going purple. So I was naturally inclined uh. to press the Y button for purple. Okay. Match point. Oh, here we go. You got this. Come back. Hit me with a hard one. Okay. Like, uh, press the R button. Remember, you can do those. Oh, yeah. Because you got some meter, and you might as well. Your back's against the ropes. You got to do something. <laughs> or not. Or <laughs> I trick was trying, me. I don't, know, I, I don't know what I did wrong. <laughs> oh, no. That's good. Oh, boy. All right. Here we go. Oh, dude. Whoa, whoa. Egg. The egg roll. The egg roll. <laughs> oh, oh whoa. No. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, but clearly Abdallah is the more skilled player here. Uh, definitely if you want to check out uh, more skilled gameplay, get some advice from someone who uh, you know knows the rules and has played Mario Tennis Aces, or not Aces, but the Mario Tennis franchise for a while. Now you said that this is one of your favorite like sports-based franchises, right? For the for Mario? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I've been following Mario Tennis ever since uh, Mario Tennis 64, man. Like Mario Tennis oh, 64 wow. was the coolest game back in the day. You Do you remember that? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I, I never played i haven't played strikers or the baseball or or the aces really i never played i don't know why i avoided those i just uh yeah i don't know <laughs> so oh but. man dude 64 was when waluigi was first introduced and the 64 game had the ability to have direct connectivity with the game boy version of mario tennis oh wow which was really awesome was like, that so the game boy version of 64. mario tennis had like an rpg uh create your own character thing and then what you do is you play through that game on the Game Boy Advance, and then or the Game Boy Color, mm -hmm. and then you put that cartridge into the controller, the N64 controller, and oh, you wow. brought your character into Mario Tennis 64. It was the coolest thing. Coolest man, thing. Man, I man, did you also play? Uh, so the baseball one's baseball, and like the soccer one's Strikers. Is that? Right? Yeah. That, that I, I never really those. got into Strikers or the baseball one. I just always liked the tennis one, and oh, I wish man. there was like a I wish there was a Mario volleyball one. That would be really awesome. That would but, be cool. Uh, I actually, I mean, I like real life volleyball too, so that would be, that'd be oh, pretty yeah. cool. 
Um, like they could do like a Dead or Alive Mario edition. No, I'm just kidding. Done. Right there. Oh my gosh. Dead or Alive Mario edition. Who would you? <laughs> All right. No, but with, uh, with Abdallah, adjusted thank you for brand new me. HD physics, right? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the physics, yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, I keep forgetting, forgetting I'm on webcam, but uh, there we go. Hi. <laughs> and uh, and uh, again, uh, subscribe to him. Uh, check out his channel. Go check out. More importantly, go check out our matches together that were streamed live. You can check out uh, check out those live commentaries that uh, the viewers were leaving too. Uh, it was a very interactive experience. I should probably do more live streams on my channel, uh, but you know, I'm, I'm getting warmed up to it. We'll see how it goes. Um, thank you for watching, Abdallah. Thank you for joining and also, uh, you know, for, for setting up the whole contest thing and all that stuff. So thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for taking the time. Thanks for uh, inviting me on board. I'm so happy to be here. Uh, yeah, like like uh, Zach said, if you guys are into family-friendly Nintendo gaming content, I mean, our brands are very aligned, so I'd love to have you guys over. Yes, yes. So check him out. Uh, and uh, what, what do you got going on coming up in the next few weeks or whatever? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, there is, uh, there's Captain Toad that's going to be coming out soon. I'm going to do a playthrough of that. Uh, there's a game called Octopath Traveler. Uh, by Square Enix, that's going to be coming out. And then, of course, we're doing some more Mario Tennis Aces, and then uh, we're finishing through the Donkey Kong DLC in Mario Plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, just like yourself. So it's oh, a fun nice. time. And, and also, uh, one thing I noticed is that for Mario Tennis Aces, you've gotten all of the trophies, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, I beat the game with every single character, absolutely. Oh my gosh, so you guys got to go check that out, because I don't think I'm going to do that, <laughs> so if you want to see that... Don't waste your time. <laughs> I won't spoil what happens. I won't spoil what happens. Not like I made a video of what happens when you 100% the game or anything, hint, hint. <laughs> but uh, I won't spoil it. You guys can go find that video on my channel, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah. I recommend, I recommend it. Check it out. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, come back next time for more. We're going to probably do some more collaborations. Maybe not on Mario Tennis Aces, but we'll find other ways to collaborate. Uh, thank you again, Abdallah. And I'll see you guys the next time The pleasure is all mine. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>